Now, we all know what our own favourite songs are from our favourite bands, but do you know what the artist's actual favourite songs are? I'm Paul Stevenson from VRP Rocks, and in these short clips that I've put together, 11 classic rock stars, including four Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, will reveal what their own favourite song is from their own back catalogue. And if you want to watch more from any of these stars, and indeed from hundreds of other classic rock legends that I've interviewed over the years, from Steve Vai to Stuart Copeland, Lou Graham to Ace Fraley, then check out all the videos on the VRP Rocks channel. I think the zoo would be cool, you know? Because it's such a good, cool, heavy song with a nice uh, talk box guitar solo from Matthias. You know, it's a, it's a cool song. It became one of the classics. Uh, and uh, But it, it's timeless. It's one of those big classic songs like Rocky Like a Hurricane, Big City Nights. Uh, I can't imagine a concert without the zoo, you know. It's this song, and especially the live version, uh, it's even better than the record version, you know. It, 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 this was one of the songs that was growing, you know, when we played it live, you know. And it's, it's a cool song. Well, I, I'm going to give you Brothers in Arms because I think that's um, uh, a, a pretty almost perfect song, in my opinion, that uh, Mark wrote, which... which uh, works on very very many levels but principally it works on a level which i think uh no matter what's happening in the world uh you can listen to this song and understand a little bit more about why things go wrong and um why certain things are important in life uh, i think brothers in arms is probably the one i would choose you know it's tough because you, you're right i've got so so much of so many songs but yet at the same time you know which one sticks out obviously street of dream sticks out but that's obvious <laughs> because it has so much meaning to me i suppose that would be the one that's the one you know only because it's 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 a golden child you know you have many children uh, in songs with your children but sometimes you just get a real diamond and that was a diamond so other than that, I could name probably 10 others, but uh, I think it's at the top of the list. That, that is, uh, for me, how would you say, the sort of the pinnacle of it, you know, that says it all. Favorite song that I would never be tired of would be Dust in the Wind to perform live. Because I, I am the one guy on earth that gets to start that song. Everybody <laughs> knows every word they all have a personal story to attach and of the billions of people on earth i am the guy that gets to 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 count that song off and start it and so that's very special to me and to hear the crowd singing it um i think i'm gonna pick hollywood which is i think one of our sort of underappreciated gems It came about, uh, there was a, a song that the band had done that referenced little clubs in LA and it was kind of a na 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 na. But anyway, Hollywood is a very fun song. It's got a great vocal by Joan. It's got harmonies that Joan and I are doing and it's just a really fun song and, and it's about my home. So there you go. Something oh, well, you know what? There's a, there's a more recent one. There's, on the Toto 14 record, there's a song called Great Expectations, which is one of our, a little bit more of our proggy kind of things, you know? Most people go, oh, that Africa band, you know what I mean? It's like, to us, that's like, wow, man, you know, that's the weirdest tune we ever did. And if that's what you think the whole band is all about, then I'd love to show another side. So we were, we, were, we were proud of how that came out. And it's not a hit song that everybody knows. You know what I mean? Something that we really just dug writing and recording. Okay, well, I'd say, uh, I'd say Shapes of Things was, was uh, my favorite one because that was um, recorded a, a very nice time for the band it just after we started going to the States and things were riding pretty well for us. Um, we'd had a few hits already um, and we recorded in Chess Studios. It was a dream, you know, it's a blues, the old blues studio in Chicago. Um, 
it wasn't a blues song, but <laughs> it, it, it sort of worked. And, and uh, we all put in, you know, our, our creative input into it. So it, it was part of the whole band. And, uh, you know, I'm very, I'm very proud of that one. Um, I'd like to suggest um, probably uh, Only Time Will Tell from the first album. Uh, most people would say, oh, it's probably heat at the moment, but Only Time Will Tell was the second single, and I think that was one of the first songs that we were working on with, with Asia. Uh, and, of course, it has the... The, the, the development of that uh, keyboard intro, the fanfare intro, which is very, I think that that was, was quite a, a, a hallmark of, of Asia's sound, if I may say, by with my own sort of keyboard playing. And then the song develops, I think it's got, it's got all the elements have got nods to the 70s, you know, some of Steve's guitar parts, um, you know, Carl's odd drum patterns here, there and everywhere, uh, and John's bass player, beautiful voice singing, great harmonies, uh, and it's a very, very tight arrangement. Uh, so I'd say that one for me sort of encapsulates really what Asia was about. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say um, We Can Be Together from Volunteers, because it's something I've actually, I've, I've, you know, over this time I've had a lot of time on my hands, I've been going back and to listen to a lot of the stuff. <laughs> I, I, first of all, it's just an interesting song. So I just, I just love, the, I just love the emotional spirit of the song. Um, you know, you have to put it in the time in which it was written, also too. You know, Grace, Grace has that, that line, "Up against the wall, up against the wall, motherfuckers." But then the next line is, "We can be together." I mean, you know, younger people go, "Well, what's that all about?" I'm going, "You kind of had to be there." But anyway, yeah, that's the song I'm going to pick. Well, my favorite, and it's still one of my all-time favorites, is the breakup song. Maybe it's those magical lyrics. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You know, I always thought that some at some point in the future I would finish that lyric. <laughs> but, you know, I came into the, uh, the control room in the studio and the guys are going, great, nice work on the lyrics, great lyrics. And I'm, what, you mean, uh, 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 yes. <laughs> People can really relate to that. Well, um, I would say um, just the one, the, the song that, uh, that, that uh, Howard and Mike and I especially love to hear and play is Mr. All Wind. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's probably, you know, Howard always calls it our masterpiece, which, you know, I, in, in some ways it probably is, you know, so, but I love to hear it. And I think just the way that the song develops and everything, it just, uh, it's very, very nice. <laughs> 